See the Claisen condensation will discuss. This is very, very, very important according to JE point of view, my dear. So be focused here. Esters, sorry, the Claisen condensation definition. See here, first of all, esters having alpha hydrogens on treatment with strong base. Strong base example C2H5O minus Na plus Na plus uh, undergo self condensation to produce to produce the beta keto ester. See, sir, what is this definition, sir? What is this definition? So the definition is uh, listen and forget, right? Uh, it is not uh, uh, very important, my dear. So what is that important? Actually, the mechanism and reaction and applications is very, very, very important. So if you want to take down, uh, take down this uh, uh, definition, my dear. Esters having Esters having alpha hydrogen, alpha hydrogen on treatment with on treatment with with strong base, strong base, strong base. Example C two. HFI O minus Na plus Na plus undergo undergo self condensation self condensation to produce to produce beta keto stuff. beta keto ester see my ideas the definition is not important right what is that important that is uh, uh, reaction and mechanism and application my ideas please take down see esters having alpha hydrogens on treatment with strong base example c2h5o minus na plus undergo self condensation here the two points are important important the what is the two points c alpha hydrogen and beta keto ester beta keto ester see sir these two terms i can explain uh, i can explain right uh, listen careful this is two terms is very important so shall i wrap if you want to take down take down otherwise uh, skip right see my dears see the first of all mechanism is very reaction reaction that is I'm taking here two molecules of esters ester right in presence of strong base that is C2H5O minus Na plus Na plus in acidic medium sorry this is one this is two Two molecules of ester in presence of base in acidic medium. So, what is the product? Product is CH3 C double bond O. Sorry, CH2 double bond O C2 H5. This is a reaction, my dears. This is reaction. Very, very, very important, my dears. Right. Now see the what about the mechanism? What about mechanism? The mechanism is very very important, my dears. We focus here. Let's begin our mechanism ideas. See mix transfer. What? Mix transfer mechanism. The first step. First step. CH3. Right? For our convenience sake, I have written like this CH3 C double bond O C2H5. Right? Added strong base that is C2H5 O minus. Now observe careful, observe careful, observe careful, observe careful. Right? See here, the first of all, what happens here? The hydrolytic cleavage takes place. 
it gets negative charge, it gets positive charge. Right? Carbon gets negative charge, hydrogen gets positive charge. So what is the reason? Sir? The reason, the simple reason, my dear, why? Because see, the carbon, sorry, carbon electronegativity is more than the hydrogen. So that is the reason. Electrons pulls towards the carbon side. That's all. So this carbon, sorry, this carbon gets negative charge. Now what happens? This base, this base abstract the proton. Abstract the proton, right? Abstract the proton. Now, C two H five, OH will form, right? One negative, one positive becomes one bond. My ideas. Negative, one positive becomes one bond. That's all. Now, see what is the next step. CH two minus C double bond, O C two H five. H five. This is what carbon ion. Carbon ion, right? It is carbon ion. This is very very powerful nucleophile, my dears. Powerful nucleophile. Actually, see, my dears, here the carbon ion are unstable, right? But here this carbon ion is very stable. So, what is the reason? Sir? The reason is that observe carefully, my dears. Here the Electrolyte cleavage takes place. Negative positive. It will become here. See, this carbon ion participate in resonance. This carbon ion is participate in resonance. So that is the reason. That is the reason. It is stable carbon ion. Stable carbon ion. Right. Now see the second step. Second step is CH3 C double bond. O C two H five. This is what, my dear, powerful nucleophile. Powerful nucleophile. All right. Now see what happens. Observe careful. Very easy, my dears. See first, hydrolytic cleavage takes place. It gets negative charge. Carbon gets positive charge. Carbon gets positive charge. Now this. Negative charge will attack it here. Will attack it here. See one negative, one positive becomes what? One bond. That's all. Here, here I, I will write here. Take down this point. Very important point. Important. Please, my dears, be focused. Take down this point. One negative charge. One negative charge. And and one positive charge positive charge becomes what one bond one bond please my dear this is very 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 important so my dear students please take down this don't neglect this don't neglect this. Right. See what I want to say that here the one negative, one positive charge becomes what? One bond. That's all. That's all. Right. So, shall I wrap? Okay. Pause and take. See my dears. Now here, one negative. One positive becomes one bond. Oh, right. See you. CH three. O minus. O C two H five. See sir, this O C two H five I will return. I have written here sir. Don't confuse. Right. Now this CH two. This carbon I am writing here. CH two. C double bond. O C two H five H five. Now observe carefully here. This is very very important step. Here the first this bond will breaks. Hydrolytic cleavage takes place. It gets negative charge. Carbon gets positive charge. Carbon gets positive charge. So what is the reason to break this bond, sir? The reason is that 
due to plus r effect take down here due to plus r effect due to plus r effect see sir what it means of plus r effect i can explain you please be focus here just remember uh, just listen my ideas this negative charge pulls towards this carbon side so what happens this carbon gets more negative so that is the reason this bond will breaks that's all that's all my dear that's all right so next uh, this is uh, called as what oxonium ion what oxonium ion oxonium ion need not to remember this name just listen and forget now see the third step third step see my dear third step see here third step you are lost c2 hf5 o minus now one negative one positive becomes one bond one negative one positive becomes one bond one negative one positive becomes one bond see my dear students if if adjacent carbon its adjacent carbons or adjacent atom one negative one positive charge there means it becomes a what one bond my dear it becomes a one bond that's all see per suppose per suppose think that this is one atom this is one atom right this get if this atom get uh, sorry this atom has uh, negative charge this atom has negative charge this atom has positive charge so what happens if adjacent beside there so it makes one bond it makes one bond that's all my dears right so if adjacent there so it makes one bond so what is the product will form ch3 c double bond right ch2 ch2 c double bond wo c2 h5 h5 see my dears this is a beta keto ester this is beta keto ester so why it is called as beta keto ester be focus observe carefully here my dear see this is what functional group right ester ester functional group right functional group beside carbon is alpha carbon alpha carbon right alpha carbon beside carbon is what beta carbon beta carbon right now observe careful my dears here the beta carbon contains what keto group so that is the reason this is called as beta keto ester beta keto ester Listen, my dears. Once again, I repeat. Here, this is the functional group that is ester. Ester beside carbon is alpha carbon. Alpha carbon beside carbon is beta carbon. Beta carbon contains beta carbon contains what, my dear? Double bond. So that is the reason. This is called as what? Beta keto ester. Beta keto ester. So beta keto ester. so my dear so this is a mechanism please take down this right shall i up right now applications is very important my dear application is very very important see your first application <coughs> application see sir in in j means uh, applications will ask so be focus uh, one second See my dears, this is reaction, reaction, rearrangement, and reagents. Uh, S. N. Sanyal, S. N. Sanyal, uh, who's uh, S. N. Sanyal? This book is very useful for for J. E. Mains as well as J. E. Advance also, my dear. J. E. Advance point of view. This book is very, very, very important. 
please purchase my ideas so uh, for who so please purchase in these circumstances as an sanyal right in the in that book what what it will be the more lot of applications are there so that is the reason please my dear humble request purchase in any circumstances right now let's begin our first application see here the first application first application first application right wo c2 h5 right ch3 ch2 c double bond wo c2 h5 in presence of strong base my dear that is c2 h5 o minus na plus and is the medium my dear students here i have written base right uh, uh, that is uh, c2 h5 o minus na plus right now see observe careful this is what functional group right functional group beside carbon is alpha carbon right alpha carbon contains alpha hydrogen so this base abstract the this base abstract the proton from alpha carbon alpha carbon alpha carbon so what happened my dears what happened it gets negative charge right carbon ion gets negative charge so next step is see hydrolytic leaves takes place this gets negative charge carbon gets positive charge positive charge here this carbon ion attacks at positive side positive side negative one positive becomes one bond negative one positive becomes one bond see sir this h plus will abstract the proton sir otherwise i will write see here hydrolytic cleavage takes place this h plus abstract the proton this h plus abstract the proton right right so for understand sake i said right right this abstract the proton right See my dears, this base abstract the proton from alpha carbon. So that is the reason carbon uh, alpha carbon gets negative charge. Now this negative charge will attack at positive side. So what happens? The product will double bond C double bond. Sorry, O minus O C two H five C H two. Sorry, CH, CH three, C double bond, O, C two, H five, H five. See, just observe careful. This carbon ion, this sorry, this alpha carbon has two hydrogens, alpha hydrogens. One alpha hydrogen abstract the base, so that is the reason this carbon gets negative charge. Now this carbon. carbon ion is attacks at this positive side so it becomes one bond see sir this carbon and this carbon this carbon and this carbon now here what happens this bond will be breaks right it gets negative charge it gets positive charge right due to due to plus r effect due to plus r effect observe careful here one negative one positive becomes one bond my dears ch ch3 c double bond 
वो सी टू एच फाइव सी टू एच फाइव राइट सो दिस इज फर्स्ट अप्लीकेशन माई डियर फर्स्ट अप्लीकेशन नाउ द सेकेंड अप्लीकेशन प्लीज टेक दा द सेकेंड अप्लीकेशन एच सी डबल बॉन वो सी टू एच फाइव प्लस सी एच थ्री सी डबल बॉन वो सी टू एच फाइव आडेड बेस एडेड बेस एंड इन एस डिग मीडियम वाला बन माइडियस दिस बेस अपस्ट्रैक द प्रोटोन फ्रॉम अल्फा कार्बन दिस बेस अपस्ट्रैक द हाइड्रोजन फ्रॉम अल्फा कार्बन राइट नाउ सी वाट एपन दिस इज गेट्स नेगेटिव चार्ज इज गेट्स नेगेटिव चार्ज नाउ हाइड्रोलाइडिक लीवेज टेक्स प्लेस it gets negative charge it gets positive charge now this post negative charge attacks it here one negative one positive becomes what one bond right one bond see sir hc double sorry not double bond o minus here वो C2 H5 CH2 C डबल बॉन वो C2 H5 C सर यर आई हैव रिटर्न सी टू सी एच टू सर यर सी एच थ्री देर सर सर दिस बेस अपस्ट्रैक्ट द वन एच प्लस सो दैट इज अ रीजन हैव रिटर्न ओनली सी एच टू राइट नाउ ड्यू टू प्लस आर इफेक्ट इट गेट्स नेगेटिव चार्ज कार्बन गेट्स पॉजिटिव चार्ज See, observe careful, my dear. Observe careful. Once again, please be focused here in this step. In this step is very, very important step, my dear. Right? See what happens. Actually, due to plus R effect, due to plus R effect, this bond will cleavage takes place. Due to plus R effect, this bond will cleavage takes place. Point number one. Right? Point number two. See. This oxygen gets negative charge. This carbon gets positive charge. Sir, what is the reason, sir? What is the reason to get uh, oxygen get negative charge? So why? Because oxygen has more electronegativity than the carbon, than the carbon. So that is the reason. If electrolytic cleavage takes place, oxygen gets negative charge, carbon gets positive charge. That's all, my dear. That's all. Now, observe carefully. The CH, sorry, sorry, not nice. Right, double bond. Go oh, C, sorry. CH two, C double bond. Go oh, C two H five. So that is beta keto ester. So that is also beta keto ester. Right. The second application, please take down. Right. Now third application, see my dear. Third application is very very important, my dear. Very very important. Right here, the intramolecular Claisen condensation. Intramolecular Claisen condensation. Uh, this is uh, for advance. For advance, this is very very important, my dear. B focus here. See here. Wo C two H five. CH2, C double bond, वो C2H5, टू एच फाइव वो सी टू एच फाइव नाउ सी इंट्रामोलिकुलर इंट्रामोलिकुलर क्लाइसन कंडेंजेशन इट इज ऑल्सो कॉलास डाइकमेंट रिएक्शन डाइकमेंट रिएक्शन माई डी एस बी फोकस प्लीज राइट सो वॉट आई एडेड सर बेस सर बेस आई एडेड राइट Not I added, Claisen added, right? Base added in acidic medium, right? So what happens? The base abstracts the proton, proton from alpha carbon, right? Alpha carbon, alpha carbon. So uh, from alpha carbon, see here. Observe carefully, my dears. This is functional group. 
clear right functional group beside carbon is what alpha carbon alpha carbon contains alpha hydrogen sir this base abstract the alpha hydrogen sir alpha hydrogen sir that's all sir for our convenience sake i am writing like this 1 h right now what happened the hydrolytic cleavage takes place this carbon gets negative charge this hydrogen gets positive charge this hydrogen gets positive charge now this base this base abstract the h plus sir actually what is that base sir actually that base is c2 h5 o minus sir so this c2 h5 o minus abstract this h plus so that is the reason what happened c2 h5 o h will form leave right c2 h5 o my o h will leave right so next step see my dear next step is very very important step heterolytic cleavage takes place it gets negative charge carbon gets positive charge carbon gets positive charge carbon gets positive charge see here now observe careful my dear observe careful observe careful here this negative attacks at positive side this negative attacks at positive side one negative one positive becomes one bond my dear students see how many times i am repeating this word because this is very 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 important my dear see one negative one positive becomes what one bond one bond so here finally o minus o minus right see this is new bond right c double bond o c2 h5 this is o c2 h5 now see my dear observe careful now this bond will be breaks it gets negative charge this gets positive charge see uh, otherwise i will write once again my dear for clearly i will write see here c2 h5 all right now see this heterolytic cleavage takes place it gets negative charge see my dears see heterolytic cleavage takes place so heterol see my dears heterolytic cleavage takes place so that is the reason this gets negative charge this gets positive charge now here one negative one positive one negative one positive becomes one bond becomes one bond so what is the reason sir what is the reason to break this bond sir due to plus r effect due to plus r effect so one negative one positive becomes what one bond that's all one bond see sir this is intramolecular intramolecular glycan condensation also called as what uh, dikeman reaction my dear so this is the reaction and mechanism my dear students be focus and uh, in any circumstances if if it is possibility there so purchase this book right asan saniel and please stay home if you can right please stay home if you can so this is your asravish take care bye bye